Okay, we're going to talk about while loops in this video. A while loop is a loop that you can use to cause a bunch of code uh, to continue to execute uh, over and over and over again. Uh, usually over and over and over again until some condition is met. So if you remember our endless loop sh script we ran earlier in the uh, class, it looked like this. I changed it up a little bit because I wanted to do something different. But basically there's a while loop. Uh, so it starts with a while. You have your condition in here. So one means true. So this pretty much says while forever. Do and then done. Those are the words for a while loop. While some condition, do and done. And then inside that loop, that code is going to keep running um, until that condition is met. In this case, we don't have a condition. So in this case, we're going to have an infinite loop again. So let's run this one. Right. So it says this is a script that never ends. It goes on and on, my friends. It's just going to keep going forever. Hopefully we remember we'll kill that with control C. So, so that's not a very useful loop because it just keeps going forever unless you want it to keep going forever. Like maybe uh, you have, uh, you want to make sure that, that some, some device is up on the uh, other side of your network. So you're going to put a ping in here, you know. You're going to ping, ping something and you want it to keep running forever. So that might be useful. But normally we want to have some kind of condition on our script. So I have an endless loop 2, two script that we're going to work with a little bit to show, show uh, actually I got ahead of myself. Uh, you might want to have an endless loop that runs forever uh, because you, you have something that going on, but you want to give the user a chance to make it in. So in this case, I, I don't have anything very complex in there. I just put in an, another echo to say, hey, if you want to quit, Put a queue, any other input to continue, read answer. So in this case, I have my while set up to keep running while dollar answer is not equal to queue. Um, and it's going to keep running until the user enters the queue. So let's let's run this one one time. So if I enter anything other than queue, even if I enter nothing, then it's going to keep running until I hit a queue uh, that that causes it to quit. So why might that be useful? Maybe maybe you're processing something and every time you process one you want to ask the user if they want to keep going. Um, in in, in uh, our class we're going to have the opportunity to write a game that keeps playing forever so essentially what's going to happen is we'll have this while loop that, write, that wraps itself around everything and then we're going to have you know code to play the game and then it's going to play the game, and then at the end, you could be like, hey, enter Q to quit or any other input to continue. And you could keep playing or you have them quit the game. So that's one way we might use it uh, in class. So uh, that, that's uh, one way to use a while loop to keep code running for a while. Another way we might want to use a while loop is to do something some number of times. Uh, so I have a, another script for that. In this case, I'm, I'm back to taking my two command line arguments, you know, $1 $1 and $2. And in this case, while num1 is less than num2, we're going to echo num1, and we're going to add 1 to num1. So basically what this is going to do is going to count from num1, and it's going to count up until the, the value in num1 is less than num2. So let's go run that. So I need to enter num1, 3, and 13. So it's going to count up from 3 to 12. You might be thinking, hey, Rich, why didn't I count up to 3 to 13? Uh, it didn't count up to 3 to 13 because my comparison was less than. If I wanted to go to, to 13, I, may, I want to make that condition less than or equal to dash LE. And now if I run it, it's going to go up to 13. This is a very important topic. It's a little off topic. But off by one errors are very common in programming where you start at some number and go up to some other number, but you didn't properly properly calculate that. So in this case, it's counting from num1 up to and including num2. If we go back to less than, if it goes back to less than, it's going to stop at 12, right? It's going to go from 3 to 12. If we do it a little differently, we could, that's not what I wanted, we could increment the number before we echo it. So now, if we do it this way, it's going to go up to 13, but it started with a 4. So 
it's very important that you you check your requirements and make sure that you are incrementing th things and comparing things in the proper way. So in case in case you missed that, you know, I have three in in num one and thirteen in num two. I changed my loop so now it adds one to three before before it prints it and it prints it after. So we get up to thirteen, but if we wanted to print the first number, we we didn't do that uh, the way we should have, or it didn't do what we wanted it to. So those are some examples of while loops. If you go back to one of those uh, pages I provided, I was on a different page. Let me see if I can find the page I wanted. Hey, when this happens. That could have been dangerous. Uh, basic operation operators, that's what I wanted. If you go back to, the, there's a link for this. It tells you what the different types of uh, relational operators. These are, are numeric. So while we could use EQ for equal, dash NE for not equal, dash GT for greater than, dash LT for less than, uh, greater than, equal to, less than, equal to. So those are the comparisons we need for numeric values. Um, down here we can do some string comparisons. Uh, that we'll look at later, probably in a different, different script we're going to do, different podcast we're going to do. So basically, like I said, while your your comparison do done, and then whatever code you want to run until the conditions met. So that's pretty much what we're going to look at for while loops.